Right, we're back. So far, I've just lifted the lid off, put it over here, lined up where I need it, drew around it. And we're going to replace this top part with some 18 millimeter ply, which is a lot, lot stronger than the OSB. Uh, we'll just use a jigsaw and chop it out. Okay, so we quickly nip through that. We have a chunk. Now all we've got to do is drill a couple of holes, then we'll... Once they're cleaned out, we'll mark these holes onto the metal and we'll disassemble and try and get the holes into the metal for putting some bolts through to help tighten it down onto the frame to make it rigid. So the holes marked will roughly gauge will roughly gauge where the metal is. Just like you got it here. And we'll just do two holes. Maybe spread them apart a bit actually. We'll zap two holes through there and then mark it into the metal. Right, we've got the first we've got the first bracket drilled out, two up here, two on each side. We've got them fitted out to fit these little allen headed bolts. Seem to be the right thickness. Well, at least for the top chunk. We don't want them too long, but we want them to pass through. So we'll have to bore these out a bit. These holes. And we'll get them fitted. As you can see, everything's looking good. Everything's squint. Everything's mishmashed together. Right, we've got longer bolts they've cut through, so we should be able to mount the engine now. So that'll be pretty cool. We don't have the right sprocket for it yet, but we could mount it in theory. Now we need to just fix out this and see if we can start getting stuff mounted onto the bike that would be funky but yeah we made the brackets they're now bolted through underneath here's got two there two there two there we got a new bit of plywood on top 18 mil loads thicker so it should add a good bit of strength but it's nearly complete and the thing I haven't done is I never ran bolts through at these sides to keep these together. I don't know why I didn't. I just don't think I need to. Just because of the support that's coming through here and the bars that come off here, it's just taking more time when we don't need to. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're pretty much there. Well, yeah. Next up, spacers. We need to make the spacers so they fit perfectly into these gaps. There's two, one top, one bottom. So we'll get them marked up, get them made. Okay, so spacers are made, they're mounted. Keep that from tweaking side to side or wobbling about because we don't want it transferred into the sprocket, which will be down here. Alright, jot out this pin here, so we don't want that giving wibble wobble, need that staying still. Still a bit of flex in this, but when it's tightened down, if everything's tightened there will be no flex. But yeah, so far that's what we have. We pretty much have the built contraption. We would just stick the split ring on, and there we go. Built. See the sprocket coming through at the side. Plenty of space for the chain. Not bad.
Now it'll be a case of lining it up on the bike to see if it needs tweaked one way or the other, you know, once it's set. So once it's on the sprocket, it could be a couple of mil off. So we might need to move it one way or the other. And we'll counter that because I'm going to get bigger axle bolts longer so that they can be offset whatever way they need to be with different size spacers just to keep everything aligned but yeah all we need now is the two bars and I have seen in B&Q they're selling a bar for £8 that's a thin rod of metal looks like it's maybe 2 mil. so it looks like it's too thin if anything I would have preferred some of this stuff so I might still try and get some, I might just wait and I'll get a bit off of eBay twice as long as I need and then I'll just cut it. And I'll have two bits, because we then need to route, well, we need to drill out some kind of angled hole pretty much straight. I do have a tricky bit, uh, I do have a little device, it's a hole saw for a drill, so that might help. But looks like everything's going to work. Not bad. Can't be more happier with the way it's turned out. A lot of efforts went into it just to make something that's not really that technical or not really that amazing. But for it to be able to just pull it out, link it on a mountain bike and away you go. So we are going to line stuff up. See if we can get it balanced out where we're going to have it and then mark out if any of the spacers need moved one way or the other. Then we'll measure up for what size of bar we need. And we'll maybe see about getting the rag joint put on. That's what it's going to do. We're going to try and see the sprocket from the other kit will fit onto the shaft. If it does, we're laughing. We've got a rag joint and a chain and the sprocket. If not, we're going to have to find a chain that fits the gear that's on the end of this, like these things. A chain that fits that and a sprocket that's as big as possible that will fit the same chain. And we'll maybe just weld it onto the back wheel. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go for it just now and see what we'll come up with. For this part here, this is the bracket. I'm just putting a groove because when it gets on the bike I need a space for this cable to be free and not be getting jammed or nipped up so that's the reasoning behind this I think we'll get this sorted and we'll see about getting it onto the bike also this bit here that matches the back plate just brought this down a bit as well just to make sure the wire clears on both parts because the tyre will be close I have used, seen other people using bits of rubber across these and because mines are aluminium I will do that but this is completely bolted on. Now all I need to do is get it lined up. Well, well, well. And it's mounted. So all I pretty much need now is the bars to go down onto these bits here or possibly the screw will go through it. Or I might even get a different wheel so it's a big bolt, a big axle, and just put a big hole in the bar and put the axle on at the same time for super strength. But we are in it to win it. That's it all on, sitting fine, the back brake still works. This is sitting down, this needs to raise just a little bit, just so that... The bar in the back up here is off the tyre. The bolts all need trimmed, but yeah, as of now, I could pretty much mount that engine onto that. There seems to be lots of clearance inside where the the chain's going to be. It's not going to be hitting the tyre, so that's just minted. Worked out perfect. If I was going to do it again. I'd probably have this top bit five inches wide. Just to just because it's so thin and close and 
touching the tire with some of the bolts and all the hard work to undo take off bits of the bolts if I'd done it five inches it would have none of that issue but then that all came down to how I bent this so yeah it all went on how close the five inches I could bend that I couldn't get a tight bend on it so but yeah it's strong it's in place it's where I need it to be next we need to get the bars for the bottom we need to get chain and sprocket sorted so I'll check the other engine and see if the sprocket's any good to go onto this if it is we're in I would best turn the naughty music off check it out yeah one engine mounted on to a mountain bike and the mud guard's gonna well it's gonna be for sure we'll probably not need that check it out all we need now is the bars coming from the back down to the wheels so we can have it rested and then the chain to a sprocket but that's it on there and we should be able to test it at some point and see well i'll wait till the bars are on it so it doesn't shake its own snap or but the way we are going it's fully mounted four bolts and then three on the actual main gear housing all the way through i love it hold on we'll get a view of inside it so we'll take a look up inside as you can see or maybe you can't see much at all but yeah just now it's dropping down so that the bars touching the tire and obviously this is sloped down the way so up here is even bars away from the tire we are in it to win it the only other thing i see being a problem is this is a bit too far in so a bar might come in contact with this nah shouldn't think so if it is we'll just take a chunk out of that part not to worry yeehaw right i'll go for just now that has been more than a heap of work done and yeah if i'd advise anybody anything do not buy an ac welder the rubbish they're just raspberry machines, they're just... <laughs> Bye for now guys, we're nearly there.